Hey guys, Ping here, and today I'm going to show you an idea um, from a summer, um, a railing, so which will automatically place all these seedings for you. So, for example, if you see it, create similar. So, okay, and also you can create, you can do, you can create even. Uh, more steps, more rows of setting, and also even a multi-story. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So first, I'm just going to create a new project. Okay, so, and in this project, start place a rail, railing. Go to 3D view. So this is the rating we are going to start from. So I'm going to just create a new one. So I call it um, steps with seeding. Okay, so first go to balustrade placement, change it to none, 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 and none. So okay, okay. So now we only, uh, uh, there's only a top rail for this railing. So uh, the first step, we're going to create a um, a baluster. Okay, looks like a seating. So first, fam create family. Oh, it's here. So we're going to use this baluster post. Okay, so open. And actually, we don't need this heart. So I'm going to just change this to noun. And we don't need this reference plan. You can't delay this, so that's fine. Not this one as well. So go to floor plan. Okay, so now I need to open a family. So this is a seating family here under the uh, in the in the folder in the furniture folder. So open this one, and I I I tried I tried to load this this family into this uh, balanced family, but it done it didn't work. So we need to copy. So Control C, go to this uh, baluster floor plan, floor, uh, plan view, and play uh, align to to current view. Okay. So now we just need to move this family to align to the center. And also let's have a look on uh, in the left view. And I think it's it's quite okay because it is reference lines. So align to this here, which you know the fixing point of this chair. So I think I'll keep it like this. So now we can load this into the project. Uh, and no. Okay. So go select this uh, railing edit type. Go to baluster placement. So here find this family. Okay, and base host. So base host, actually the first one will be uh, slightly higher. We are going to create a step for them. So maybe 450, okay? So that's the top. So I'm going to change this to host because uh, potentially we are going to delete this top rail. So currently I'm just place it to tell me where the sketch is, where's the sketch line, the path of this railing is. So later on we might change delete it and then we just need to change this to host and also the top offset must be higher than the base any number uh, bigger than that will be fine and distance from pre previous and I'll maybe just type in six depending on how you know the uh, the distance between all the seats so you can change it if you need to so offset will be uh, I'll just keep. I'll just leave it for now. I'll. We'll just come back for uh, this one later. So okay and okay. So now looks like the chair need to be rotated by now 90 degrees. So that's okay. So we just need to go to the railing, railing, railing here, and find that family line and edit. So go to floor plan, select the chair, everything except re reference line. So to uncheck the reference line, and R O, rotate and space, which is place center rotation space, and place 
here and then just anywhere okay so one and then teleporting 90 degrees so now the chair is facing that way so load this back into the project and then override okay that's that's it okay so now let's have a look so this come to the, this escape the sketch the path the edit path if you edit path the lines here and we probably uh, use this line as the edge of the step and so this chair need to be moved back about uh, around here so edit type go uh, balustrade placement and then in offset let's type in maybe 950 so apply OK, apply OK, so that's, that's it. And then we, let's add another row of chairs. Select this, duplicate. So for this one, I'll make it 900 high, and also this one will be slightly higher than 900. And also uh, here offset will, be, will need another 900. Okay, so 900. So that's 1750. Apply, OK okay so now we have two rows of chairs and also you will notice that the 600 is from here to here so which means we need to change this so 600 and 600 okay apply okay so now i'll just quickly add another two row so select duplicate uh where did it go oh sorry down and then this one will be 1350 and slightly higher 15 or uh, 1400 and then here is negative uh, 2650 okay so duplicate again so this will be uh, 1800 so this will be sli slightly higher 1850 and this will be negative 3550 so okay, oh sorry, I, I think I forgot something. So we need to change this from 300 to 150, so, okay? Okay, so apply, okay, okay. Now we have four rows of chairs, okay? Now let's add uh, uh, some uh, steps underneath, uh, under these chairs. So for the steps, let's create a new family so this will be a profile okay so profile and quickly I'll show you a tip so uh, when, when you have a lot of profile in your project it's always good to select the the usage for the profile so for example this one I'll just select railing so this profile will only show in the list of uh, in the railing family so let's start this line. So go up 450 and 900. Okay, so I'll select select it. One, two, three, and four. And also another line here to here to here. And maybe let's maybe not 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 solid. But I'm just going to offset uh, for example 300. So trim trim and okay so this is it so this is uh, the profile for the st steps and load this into the project okay so and then select this uh, uh, railing and we're going to use a handrail for this okay so go type so duplicate let's call it steps and okay so change this to um, change this to fam 10 and you will see that the, the hand will hand clearance automatically changed so and also if you st uh, put your cursor on here and it will show you so the hand clearance is the distance from the center of the uh, the top of the handrail to the edge of the handrail so in this case, it automatically gives you this number. Um, um, actually, I'm going to change it to zero and figure out. Let's figure out how, what exactly we need. Okay. So and also the height. 
how it will be zero of course and then that's another one support we don't need so okay okay and oh sorry i forgot so edit type you need to pick a position so here left or right so i'll, I'll try left first i think that's okay that's that's it so if i try right apply nope so maybe that's left so now we just need to figure out the offset need to be what the offset need to be so i'll just quickly do a dimension so from this edge to to maybe to this edge okay so that's 17 7, 7 oh, so that's 17 75 and which means and also this this is a 50 by 50 which means if to the center that will be 1800 so actually what i need to offset the the, the distance i need to offset is actually 1800 so go to the handrail handrail here and the hand clearance just type in 1800 so this will give us the so uh, the correct or oh, sorry 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 uh where is it so here negative 1800 so this way this face will align to the center of this uh, uh top top rail and also if you edit path this line is where this these steps start okay so i think that's that's it so you can create even create curved ones if you want to okay so yeah and also uh you can even adjust this on the profile of this you can create uh something like like something like this so multiple multi-level i'm not sure if you can see it but yeah that's all up to you okay so that's it for today and uh um if you have any question or suggestion please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye